This is a non-medical mask, suitable for non-medical staff in hospitals, support workers, volunteers, workers in essential sectors and medical patients, and is not designed to replace PPE equipment used by trained medical staff in medical situations. This is a simple, pleated mask, one size fits all adults. It has three layers. The outer layer, the polyester microfiber, commonly used to make sheets, is negatively charged and water repellent. Polyester yarns that are textured to feel cotton-like brushed are likely to be more breathable. The middle layer, the disposable filter, is designed as a removable particle trapper made from polypropylene. The inside material is 100% cotton flannel. Cotton is porous, which makes it more comfortable for breathing. Also, it is positively charged. Negatively charged virus exiting the wearer's mouth or nose will be attracted to the cotton molecule and be trapped. Also, cotton is absorbent and will pull the moisture out of the virus, causing it to die faster. Studies have shown that pile fabric structures, as in terry cloth or flannel, are more effective at trapping the virus. These masks must be changed regularly, using appropriate caution, and the disposable inner must be disposed of carefully. The main mask is washable. The main pattern is a simple 22cm by 21cm rectangle. There are four different pieces. The polyester microfiber sheeting, which is a 22cm by 21cm rectangle. The 100% cotton flannel, 22cm by 21cm rectangle. And these should be different colours so we can see the front and the back of the final mask. We need this much elastic, 2 by 20 centimetres, and it could be round or 3mm flat. We also need bias binding and garden wire. We will start by pleating the microfiber and cotton sections. The top and bottom edge of the mask is the 22 cm edge. Take the microfiber square, fold it in half right sides together. Measure 3.5 cm from the fold and mark. Repeat this for the other end and mark across the piece 3.5 cm from the edge. Pin the microfiber. Machine stitch down 3.5 cm parallel to the folded edge. Push the fold line to the stitch line, creating the box pleat. Pin or tack the pleat into place along the raw edge. And do the same at the other end. And press on a cool iron. Do the same for the cotton flannel. Fold it in half right sides together, measure 3.5 cm from the fold and mark, and repeat for the other end, and mark across the piece 3.5 cm from the edge. You now need to machine stitch down 3.5 cm parallel to the folded edge and repeat for the other end. Push the fold line to the stitch line, creating the box pleat. Pin or tack the pleat into place along the raw edge and repeat for the other end and press with an iron. The box pleat goes into the inside of the mask. We are going to use a French seam on the top edge. Put the wrong sides together. Stitch pieces together along the top edge with a five millimeter seam allowance.
press the seam open. Fold so that the right sides are together. Press the seam and pin them. Stitch between 7mm and 10mm along the top edge so that the seam is now contained. Make sure you reverse stitch or tie off the seam. Press it. Press the seam towards the microfiber. Cut a 17cm piece of garden wire. Fold each end back 1cm, squeeze hard to stop the wire poking out. Insert wire into French seam. Push it along so that it sits in the middle. Stitch the wire in place by stitching just on the French seam allowance, sealing the wire in at either end. This could be done by hand. We now need to neaten the sides to encase the raw edges, hemming. There's a 1.5 seam allowance allowed for each side in the pattern. You'll need one piece of elastic per side. On the right side of the fabric, place one end as close to the top seam of the microfiber as possible in the hem, and the other end 15mm from the bottom of the microfiber hem, again on the right side. Pin or tack these into place. Hemming. I've chosen to use bias binding, which I will put along the sewing line and machine stitch, catching in the ends of the elastic. Trim down the fold over and stitch into place. Alternatively, you could press the edge over to the wrong side, 1.5 centimeters. Turn under again to make a neat hem, insert the end of the elastic, and machine stitch into place. Do the same to both sides of the microfiber portion of the masks. You should now have this. We are now going to finish the mask with an encased seam. Put the right sides together and match the remaining raw edges. Stitch with a 5mm seam allowance. Turn the mask through. Now, top stitch 7mm to 10mm from the edge through all layers enclosing the raw edge. This will become the channel to insert the elastic into. Go back to finish the top edge. Top stitch through all the layers, making sure we stick to the edge of the seam allowance, taking care with the positioning of the wire. This will stop the mask from rolling. Insert 14 centimeters of elastic into the bottom channel and stitch into place. Rather than attaching to ears, take the elastic to the back of the head and join with a bag or hair clip. This will make it easier to wear.